Hello everybody, it's Murialda here once again, and welcome back. Guess what? I've done it. I have actually done it, people. I've made it as a YouTuber. I have a box in front of me, yes. Frozen bakery product, and it's upside down. But this box has a figure in it that I did not buy. Yes, someone has actually been super unbelievably nice and have gifted me a figure. And yeah, I mean, I to, just to reiterate though, I have I've watched other YouTubers and you know they get PO boxes and they get letters and figures and stuff, and I'll admit I watch them and I get a little bit jealous, but you know I'm not in this to get free stuff. I'm in it because I love figures. Obviously, I can afford them. I'm not ha struggling financially or anything. I can buy my own figures. But, you know, there's always just that little twinge where it's, someone else is getting something free and you're not. <laughs> but, so, and let me also put this out there. I'm not going to just give out my address to just any, anyone. This person was someone that I consider a friend. And, you know, we've been talking for a while on Discord and everything. And we actually live fairly close. I mean, never met him, but, but yeah. They decided, to paraphrase the conversation, it was, Hey, Mirialda, you got this figure? No. Well, you do now. <laughs> so, yeah. Th friend, thank you. Uh, and I wanted to show she's an artist. <laughs> so we've got two Tamamos. So, yay. Um, like I said, don't ever feel like you have to send me anything or do anything for me. I'm doing this out of the, because I find it fun. I'm not in this to get free stuff. If you want to, but feel free, you know, stop by the Discord and say hi. But yeah, so we've got a figure. Um, inside this box is a uh, figure that goes along with two that I already own. So we've got Jubei and we got Naoi Katsugu. So they're both Hyake Rowan figures and they're both from Alter. And I've had them for quite a while. Jubei was actually my second figure ever. And I still haven't glued her sword back on. But yeah. So, obviously, that means we've got a uh, Tamamo in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We've got another Yucca Rowan altar figure. Let's get this open and see what she looks like. And I'm opening the bottom, which is the top, because I don't want to cut open Tamamo. <laughs> So we've got bubble wrap and we've got newspapers. Let's put this box off to the side and pull her out and see what how she looks. Really well packed. Let's get the bubble wrap off of her. There she is. Make sure that's everything. Yeah. So as you can tell, if you've ever watched Chuck and Rowan and you know who the characters are, we have Yagyu Ginsen. Uh, she is from Chuck and Rowan Samurai Girls. She's a 1 8 scale figure manufactured by Alter. Uh, she released uh, March 29th of 2013. So she's like nine years old. Um, basically, the conversation happened yesterday on the 27th of April, 2022. She shipped out the same same day, and I got her today on the 28th. Originally, USPS said, you know, it's going to be Saturday, but when we live an, like an hour apart, I wasn't surprised to see her today. Uh, box is a little beat up, but what do you expect? I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, on the side, we've got a nice full body shot of Yagyu Ginsen. She's got her an alternate faceplate, so this one, she does not have an eye patch. There is the back of the box. And the other side, and this time she's wearing her eye patch. I think I will display her with the eye patch. There's the front of the box again. There is the top of the box. And there is the bottom of the box. So yay. We've got a figure. Let's get her open. So we'll go ahead and open up the box and pull out the blister. There are instructions inside the box. So basically how to switch her head, how to put her sword into her hand. 
put that off to the side. Inside of the box, it's white. It's got the Yucca Rowan Samurai Girls, Girls logo on there. I'm getting better at saying the name. So we'll go ahead and put the box off to the side. And there is Gitan, or Gitan as Jubei calls her. Bring her a little bit closer and we'll spin around the blister packaging. Looks pretty good so far. You took good care of her. Yeah, from the back and the side and back to the front. So yeah, let's go ahead and get her open and get her all assembled and then we'll do some comparisons and yay. Pop the blister open and we'll start with the base as we always do. So it's a nice uh, smallish base. It's nice and round. Uh, probably, I'd say four inches or so. It's got three uh, plastic pegs. It's got the Yucca Roan Samurai Girls logo. It has the, you know, uh, sakura petals and stars and everything. Nice uh, gold foil type stuff. Bottom of the base. Says made in China and copyright, blah 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 blah. Don't know what it says. And that's the base. Uh, we'll pull out her alternate face. So there is Kinsen's alternate face with her red and green eye. She's a you want to call her a Christmas figure? <laughs> but yeah, heterochromia. She's got some white hair, nice bangs, uh, very well sculpted. There's the back. And looks like a little bit of shading in there. Uh, she has some tan skin. Uh, next, we will go ahead and pull out her sword. So it's kind of, it's like a scissor blade. So it actually functions. So maybe Ginsen will cut your head off. But it's a nice paint job on it. So it's uh, purple background with some nice green uh, flowery inky ink blotchy patterns and stuff on it. Nice little design on both sides. It's riveted together. It's got a little handle for that she uses to open and close it. And then it's got the uh, wrapped handle with a little tassel hanging off of it. And the handle does separate and that's how you get it into her hands. And it's it's a nice looking sword. Scissor sword. And then next, finally, we have Kinsen. So we'll pull, pull her out and drop her. Sorry about that. Uh, just an experiment. Nope. You need a base with her, so yeah. But there is Kinsen's face. So she is wearing her eye patch on this one. She's got her green eye showing. Nice serious expression on her face. Uh, she has welded boobs, and for Shaka Rowan, actually pretty decent sized boobs, like normal human sized boobs. Uh, the shirt, it's got the uh, seafoam green lapels and cuffs and everything, and the actual shirt itself does have almost a light per lilac purplish tint to it. Uh, she, It's a sailor uniform, so she's got the little scarf and everything. She is wearing gloves. Which are kind of multi-layered, so she's got black fingers, some gold accents, and then a purple pattern bottom of the glove. It's kind of like a armor, so you got a wrist guard. Uh, same with the other hand, but this one goes up her sleeve into her elbow, and it's got some, you know, golden rope looky things tied in knots going down, holding it shut. Nice fingers. Uh, she also has a kind of black undershirt suit type thing. Uh, she's got a collar with a lock on it. So she she is very heavy on the master is master and the, the servant is the slave. So that's probably why she's got kind of the dog collar. She has a nice white pleated skirt with the seafoam green stripe on it. She's showing off some very tan thighs. And the stockings are purple, and they have that same uh, pattern that's on the sword in a lighter lilac color. She's wearing some nice shiny loafers with kind of a little butter butterfly charm on them. Uh, no tread on them. 
nice smooth bottoms. She's got some white undies on and very detailed booty. And the crotch shot. Uh, looks like maybe a little bit of a little bit of extra glue on there, and the one butterfly charm just popped out, but it, it'll just peg right back in. I'm gonna set it over here on Kanasugu space so that I don't lose it. Yes, get a, get a figure for free, break it immediately. <laughs> but yeah, it just came loose. I'm not even gonna bother like gluing it. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get her on her base. So let's see here. Fits on the base pretty easily. Tilt the camera down a bit, bring her closer. And then we will put the sword into her hand. So it pops apart and then the sword goes through her hand. I think I may have it backwards. Spin it around. Yeah, it fits a little bit better this way. And then you can scissor the blades a bit. So there is Gisen assembled with her default face, which is how I'm going to display her. We'll do a spin around of her like this. I mean, for a nine-year-old figure, yes, it is an altar figure, but looks pretty dang good. Uh, quality's right up there. Uh, she's been well taken care of. Yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, like the shirt, it's got all the pleat, the uh, stitching ribbing lines or whatever and everything. Paint is nice and clean. Let's go ahead and we will take her arm off now and pop her head off and then pop her bangs off of her faceplate. And be careful, the hair is definitely very sharp. I poked myself and stabbed myself. Then we'll put the alternate face on. It's a pretty tight fit. Go ahead and put her head back on. go and put the arm back in so with the alternate face being a very tight fit I'm guessing it was never used uh, and I'd really have to squeeze hard to get it to fit everything so you may see some seam, line, seam lines as we spin but like I said I'm not going to display her with this one but we gotta look and see what she looks like So let's go ahead and get the camera out and do some close-ups. So there is Gisen. Uh, she does look down a little bit, so she is definitely designed for an upper shelf. You want her to be above eye level, otherwise you're not really going to see her face much. But good body on her. She's got the uh, rope-themed uh, rope bow. So that's a common thing in Yaka Rowan is the ropes. Yeah, very nice legs on her. Um, looks like she might be leaning forward a little bit in this pose. But Alter is a good manufacturer, so you don't need to really worry about actual leaning with this figure. And yeah, she's got the booty. So let's go ahead and put the camera away. We'll get the face that I'm going to use out and put it back on her. So again, take the arm off and then pop the head off. It's a tight fit. Pop her face off at the fringe. Put the default face back on with the eye patch. Squeeze tight. And put her head back on, put the arm back in place, fiddle with the sword a bit. She does not have a very tight grip on the sword, so it's probably going to slide up and down if you jostle her around a bit. And then 
let's go ahead and do some close-ups of this face. So yeah, I, I like the eye patch on her. The I mean, the red eye looks pretty good too, but I think, like I said, this is how I'm going to display her. I think that's how she should be displayed. Nice cleavage on her, even if it is welded. And the side boobs. Yeah, looks pretty good. So now we will bring the other two up for comparisons. So we'll start with Jubei. So we've got the two Yagyus. So Yagyu Jubei, Yagyu Gisen. And yeah, I mean, scale-wise, they go together very well, obviously, because they're from the same series and same manufacturer. Uh, Jubei is a little bit taller. Spin them around. And Jubei is my, you know, favorite from the show. Which makes sense because she is the main character. But I just loved how, she, her, like, her personality and everything. So now we'll put her off to the side. Move Gisen over and we'll bring up Kansugu or Gutsugutsu. So again... Another common theme, big giant weapons. <laughs> so big giant scissor sword, big giant hammer. Uh, Kanesugu and uh, Gisen, they kind of, with their different poses, maybe not so much go together. But, I mean, you can tell they're, they're meant to go together from the same series and everything. Let's see if we can get them all up here now. I want Gisen to be the center of attention, but Kanesugu's kind of in the way. But anyways, so this is now my Hyaka Rowan Samurai Girl Altar Collection. I've got one more Jubei, but didn't need to bring her out. So yeah, we've got Gisen, we've got Kanesugu, and we've got Jubei. And yeah, they go together pretty well, obviously. So yeah, I'm happy. This is Yagu, Yagyu Gisen. She's from Hyaka Rowan Samurai Girls. She's a 1 8 scale figure manufactured by Alter. She originally released on March 29th of 2013. And a very generous friend gifted her to me. So thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. Uh, everyone else, don't worry. You don't have to send me anything. Even if you ask, I probably will say no. But it just happened this time. So again, build your collection. Don't build my collection. I can build my own. Anyways, I'm grateful. Thank you again. I'm out. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.